Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Butter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K21. The course I'm going to be playing today is called Rye Harbour Golf Club. It's only got one T position, so that's the one I'm going to be playing off, and it's 7,449 yards. Now it's a new course, as you can see, bottom left hand corner, it's had 34 plays. So um, I've gone for the usual first time playthrough conditions and the default time of day and weather is morning and overcast. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll see what this course has to offer. It's a nice touch. You've got the car park behind you. All the numbers up. Okay, now let's check the book. Yeah, all the way down that left hand side is out of bounds beyond that white fence, so we're going to have to be careful. And we've got the wind off the right as well. So 274 yards left to reach this par 5. Couple of pot bunkers there to worry about. It's tempting to try and hit the driver through that gap. I'm not sure my th three wood is going to get there. Let's give it a go. It's going to need a good swing and a really kind bounce. It's gone straight in the bunker. Okay. Completely misjudged that. Double breaker here. Oh, what a putt. I didn't expect to hold that. That's a nice surprise. Just have a quick look at that. Um, that's really clever. You've got the boat there with the benches around. That's really clever. Okay, so this is a fairly lengthy par 4. It's into the wind as well. Ball is slightly above my feet. Oh, I've hit it ever so slightly fast as well. That's not too bad. Just 
slightly misread it. Okay, on to the third. That's really clever. I like the way they've designed that. That kind of... I guess if you're in Scotland, you would call that a burn. This is quite a tricky tea shop because you've got the little pot bunkers in the fairway. It's not a very big landing area. Plus you've got that water hazard running there as well. Quite a strong wind off the left. Not easy this one. Oh, I feel it's slightly slow as well. That could be in trouble. Oh, I was very lucky there. It's a nice birdie. It's a really well designed hole. Par three here at the fourth, slightly elevated green. Just under 200 yards, but we've got that wind to take into account. Oh dear, I've hit it fast. That's going to be in trouble. Oh, terrible shot. Mm, that's not great either. That's a relief, just managed to scramble par there. Didn't play that hole at all well. Very long par four here at the fifth. 483, slightly uphill. need to try and avoid going to the right. If you end up on the right hand side of the screen it's going to leave a tough putt. 10 mile an hour wind off the right. It's going to be a bit long. Oh, this could be dangerous. Oh, no. Here's that difficult part I was talking about. Actually, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be worse than this.
Break. Break now. Yes. Super putt. Just took the break at the very end, which is what I was expecting. Stay there. It's quite a small target. It's a nice shot, gives me a good chance of a birdie. Not too much break on this. Probably about right lip. Lovely setting for a course, this. Nice Lynx style course. Now, this is quite a, a lengthy par four. Important to hit the fairway. That's a good drive, but tricky second. Hundred and fifty five. It's probably going to play about one sixty with that elevation. Come around a bit more. It's not coming around enough. I thought the wind might do a bit more with it than that. Distance was good, though. This is quite quick. not turn oh it did for a second there I didn't think it was going to turn enough uh, this is slightly downhill so probably playing about 208 207 something along those lines Should come left off the bank, but it might be a bit short. Go on, keep going. I don't think that's high enough. No, it's not. That's a shame. J 
just a par. Love the use of the buildings and the fencing around here. Looks like you've got a, a little food, fast food outlet behind. I don't know if you saw that there, just behind the ninth tee. Now this is a tricky tee shot. You can see the fairway slopes down to the right. The wind will do me a favour here. It's coming off the right. So I don't need to put any draw on this to compensate for the slope. I'll just let the wind handle it. Hundred and fifty yards to go into that breeze. Kick right. Oh, and it did. Should have put some backspin on that, it just ran on a bit too much. Nice use of the signpost down there, telling me where the 10th tee is. It's a great putt. Delighted with that one. Couple of yachts out in the bay. Hundred and well, it's a hundred and forty, but it's downhill. So it's going to be playing about a hundred and thirty-five. So I'm going to drop down to a 9 iron. Bite. Bite. Oh, just a fraction too far, and then it's caught the slope. try nice bridge there help me go up to the next tee you can see the steps behind me there it's a really well thought out course this one congratulations to the course design it's really good With a wind behind and a good drive, we should get a very short approach shot to this green. About 80 yards to go, including the elevation.
do with that spinning. Here she comes. Now I could do with it stopping. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, it's going to go all the way off the front. Oh, that's really unlucky. I didn't put any additional backspin on that, but I did increase the loft. And, of course, it caught that slope and that was it then. In hindsight, I probably should have played a pitch shot, but not to worry. I don't think I've hit that hard enough. No, I haven't. That was really stupid. Just a par, which is a shame after a good tee shot. But I can see what the course designer did there with the with the slope and the pin position. It it caught me out. So if you do have a similar shot to the one I've just had, I would recommend probably playing a pitch shot and uh, try and cut down on the amount of spin that you generate. Took a big bounce to the right, but he's okay. And this one's into the wind. Oh no, that's a very bad swing. Oh dear. Now, see, this is where I have a dilemma. Now, normally I would play a splash shot here. But I'm trying to avoid those now when I'm not in the bunker. Although, to be honest, I can't remember if I've done one in this round yet. But um, I'm going to have to chip it. Now, as you can see there, it's steeply downhill. But it's very heavy rough. But as soon as it gets there, it's just going to run. I've got to make sure that I get it beyond the rough and then it's just a case of let gravity do its thing and, and hope I get it about right bit nervous about this one to be honest ok well I carried the rough now it's just a case of how far it's going to roll. Well, that's not bad, actually. Distance wasn't too bad. Line could have been better. Now, this looks straight, so I just need to put a good swing on it. Yeah, I'm pleased with the up and down. No birdies yet on the back nine, but I've got a par five coming up next. I'm really enjoying this course, it's nice. Hopefully with the wind behind I can just carry that bunker. Got to go. Yeah, that's fine. And I might try the hybrid here because we've got the wind behind. And we certainly don't want to go too far with that out of bounds down the right hand side. Not an easy shot this to get on into. a good swing 
Just need a bit of luck now. Oh, go, 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 go. Ah, uh, it's caught the sand dunes. Change the camera angle so I can see my player. I can't see what sort of slope my ball is on, so I'm just going to have to take a guess on this. That's a nice birdie. So there's no more par fives to come on this round. So we've got a par four at the 14th. Now those four pot bunkers are very strategically placed. They're in the landing area. So avoiding them is gonna be tricky. I think what I'm going to try here is I'm going to aim it down the middle of the fairway. In fact, no, I'm going to aim it at that left-hand bunker because I've got the wind off the left. But I'm going to hit a draw to try and hold it up in that wind. To hopefully keep it down the middle of the fairway. So it's coming round, but is it going to come around enough? I could do with that bouncing left. Yep, yeah, that's a good shot. I was a bit worried there for a moment, but it's uh, it's turned out really good. Swing plane is a fraction off. Oh, it's short. That's a pity. Just a fraction. Nice putt. Right in the middle of the hole. This is a long par four, it's over 500 yards, but it's a generous fairway, it's quite wide, and the wind is helping, so that's good. and 69 to go but with that wind it will be playing considerably shorter I'll call it 170 a bit short go go
I've misread it. I've had a couple putts of a similar sort of line and I've misread both of them. It's a steady par though. Now in contrast to the previous hole, this is quite a narrow fairway. Wind off the left. Okay, if it does go left on the beach, it's in play. It's not flagged as out of bounds. So that does take the pressure off a little bit. bit of a upside down well no it's not really upside down it's kind of a bowl shape isn't it so 129 yards looks like it's downhill from about there onwards but this bit here is up okay got to be careful of that slope here I'm going to try the pitching wedge It's going to be short. I was hoping it might get far enough to catch the downslope. It nearly did. Oh no, I've misread another one. Well, I've certainly left a few out there today. So the penultimate hole is a par three. Tricky pin placement. Come on, be good. That's a great shot. That's one of the best shots I think I've hit all round. Let's see if we can capitalise on that and roll this one in. Yeah, it's a really good birdie. So the final hole, par four, dogleg left. 467, but it's slightly downhill. Oh, I've hit that slow. Is it going to stay on the fairway? Yes. Okay. Got a bit lucky with that. It's gone a bit right, could do with a kick to the left, but I think it's too far right. Yeah, it's going to catch the wrong side of that slope. Oh dear. It's really heavy rough, I'm on an upslope as well. It's 
is not an easy one to judge. So we can save par. Yeah, nice putt. That's a great course. I really, really like it. Um, as a junior, when I used to play, I was brought up on Lynx Golf, so I really appreciate a good Lynx course, and that is a good Lynx course. Many congratulations to the course designer on that one. If you've not played that one yet, I highly recommend it. That's Rye Harbour Golf Club. Many congratulations to the course designer. You've done a great job with that. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. I would really, really appreciate it. So take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.